If you're looking to learn how to access Telegram on a Galaxy Watch 6, 5 or 4, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Telegram app on your Galaxy Watch, as well as how to use it without installing the app. Not only this, I will also share my experience of using the Telegram app on the Galaxy Watch 5. So without further ado, let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the Galaxy Watch 5, but these methods will also work with the Galaxy Watch 6 and 4. First, I will tell you how to use the Telegram without installing the app. You might already know that when the Galaxy Watch 6 is connected to your phone via Bluetooth, you can see all your phone notifications on the watch. Similarly, when someone sends you a message on Telegram, you can view it on your watch. You can reply to messages directly from the Galaxy Watch. When you tap on a notification, you get some quick reply options. And for custom messages, you can type your response or tap the emoji icon to send emojis. One drawback is that you can't initiate a chat from your watch. If someone sends you a photo in a chat, you can view them on your watch. But there's no option to play videos. The same limitation applies to calls. You can decline audio or video calls using your watch, but you can't accept them. To accept the calls, phone is required. If you are not receiving notifications on your Galaxy Watch, there may be a permission issue. Check the notification settings on your phone and also in the wearable app. If notifications are disabled for Telegram, you will need to enable them. Now, I will tell you how to install the Telegram app on your Galaxy Watch 5. As you may already know, currently there is no official Telegram app for Wear OS. However, you can sideload the Telegram application onto your Galaxy Watch. Sideloading means manually installing an app that is not officially available through the device's app store. First, you will have to install the ADB Tune and Telegram APK on your smartphone which you will later sideload on your Galaxy Watch. To do that, open the Play Store on your phone and install the Bugyager application. After that, install the Telegram APK on your smartphone using the link in the description. Next, you have to enable developer mode on your Galaxy Watch and then turn on the wireless debugging to make your Galaxy Watch ready for sideloading the Telegram app. Before proceeding, make sure that your watch and phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi. To enable developer mode, open settings on your Galaxy Watch and go to About Watch. Then open software information and tap on the software version 5 times. Next. Go to the developer options and turn the ADB debugging toggle on. Scroll down, tap on wireless debugging, turn on the toggle and tap on allow. Now you will see the IP address and port number of your Samsung Galaxy Watch. And with this, your Galaxy Watch is ready to sideload the apps. Open the Bugyager app on your smartphone. Tap on connect device icon and select pair. Now, go to the wireless debugging section on your Galaxy Watch and tap on Pair New Device. Enter the pairing code from your Galaxy Watch in the Bugyager app open on your smartphone and tap on Pair. It can take multiple tries, so keep trying to pair it. After this, your phone and Galaxy Watch will be successfully paired for wireless debugging. Now, go to the Packages section on the Bugyager app and tap on the Add icon. Choose Select APK and tap on OK. Now, you just have to select the Telegram APK that you have downloaded on your smartphone and the installation process will commence. Shortly, the Telegram app will be installed on your Galaxy Watch. Now, you need to do one thing. You need to change the DPI of your Galaxy Watch 5 to make the content smaller so that they fit on the watch screen. Go back to the Bugyager app and check if your watch is connected. If it's not connected, please connect it. Then tap on the hamburger icon on the side. Next. Tap on the code icon and type WM Density 150, then press Enter. This will make more options visible on your Galaxy Watch screen. To turn the screen back to normal, type in WM Density Reset and the contents of the watch display will revert to their original size. You can now use the Telegram app on your Galaxy Watch 5. Next, I will share my experience of using the Telegram on the Samsung smartwatch. But before that, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In my experience, I could access almost everything I usually do on the Telegram while using it on the Samsung Galaxy Watch. However, it's not as efficient as navigating Telegram on a smartphone or desktop. The circular shape of the Samsung Galaxy Watch makes it difficult to use apps designed for rectangular screens, causing some icons to be hidden and limiting the usability of the app on the Galaxy Watch. I can access all my chats from this watch, but when I try to send a message, I am unable to do so because the send icon is hidden. However, I found a solution when someone messages me. 
I receive a notification and I can reply by tapping the notification. Other than this, if someone sends me media like photos, audios or videos, I can view them on the watch. Both the audio and video files are easily accessible. After that, I tried making calls and surprisingly it worked fine. My friend could hear me clearly, but I couldn't hear them through the watch. Then I allowed the music and audio permissions and after this the calling worked fine. To do this, go to the settings of your watch, scroll down and tap on apps. Then tap on app list and find telegram in the list. Tap on telegram and tap on permissions and allow the music and audio permissions. This is my experience of using telegram on the Galaxy Watch 5. Telegram on the Galaxy Watch allows you to stay connected with your communities and friends offering access to many features. However, the navigation may take some time to get used to. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and comment on what you would like us to cover next. For more informative videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.